what's up you guys it's your girl Brie and I'm back once again with another video so right now um I'm just chilling in this parking lot or whatever um I'm just walking with you um so yeah I haven't been on here in a while to vlog or anything so I'm in the process of making a new intro for our group channel well I'm making a group channel a new group channel or whatever and then I'm I renamed my personal channel or this channel because of um, my name being changed and I will tell you all about that in a little bit but um, this is gonna be like a story time or whatever so get prepared so yeah I don't like the setting well I'm trying to like reset it there we go that's better okay yeah that's better so basically um sorry if you're gonna hear me and um all the noises in the background or whatever I'm sorry but I can't really control it because I'm in the parking lot. So, yeah. So, um, story time. Um, how life was at TCA. <laughs> uh, I got a big story time to tell y'all. Um, so, it was crazy. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, it was really crazy. To be there for five and a half months and live with that many there was 27 females in one like one living uh thing and then there was like 30 something or 40 something guys on team two and then like 30 something or 40 something guys on team three so um yeah it's, it was crazy cat on um, the workers or catcher or whatever you want to call them um they quit most of them quit. Um, there was only two of them that stayed throughout the entire program with us, uh, which I love them so much. Um, and what character she ended up quitting before, like two days before, three days before we graduated, but she still showed up at graduation. Um, so yeah, I was really excited about that. Um, I am. A lot has been going on with me, but just from TCA, they only had, we only had probably about three visits, like where we got to come home. Um, there was one at, no, I think there was one before Christmas time. Yeah, there was one before Christmas time. I cannot think of where, when it was, wait, no, I think Christmas was the first visit that we actually got to come home. So Christmas and then, um... Wait, no, there was only two. There was for Christmas, which was, uh, we came home on the 23rd, and we went back down the 26th. That's so a three-day home pass. And then for the military ball thing, we got to um, come home on February 28th and go back to March the 1st. So that's another two-and-a-half, three-day uh, home pass. So I was really excited about that. Um, my, dresses, my dresses were beautiful. Um... I love my dresses. So besides that, um, there's only two home passes. Dale had two family days, two or three family days, and where we got to actually see our families um, for the whole day. Well, not for the whole day. It was like four hours. You get to go off campus and do whatever we wanted or whatever with our families, just hung out. And it was a much needed. They put it in place. I have to say, they put it in place for when you they really know that you need it because at the beginning of the program. For the fourth week, you're without them for four weeks, without phone calls or anything. The only thing you can get is letter writing. And most people didn't even write to their cadets until after week 10, like week um, six to eight. So um, week four was definitely challenging for me because that was, I cried because so much during the first month because um, I was not used to being separated from my parents or anything like that. So that was definitely challenging for me. And um, another thing is that when you love somebody so much and you get to see them for the first time, it's like reuniting long distance relationships. It's reuniting with your family. I mean, I haven't got to see them in four weeks. So when I finally got to see them, I cherish every moment with them. Um, and then after that was the first family day and then probably about four weeks later or three weeks later we had a mentor day or whatever so then we got to pick our own mentor so 
for me, I love my mentor. Um, my mentor is amazing. I, I love it. I love her so much. And um, I can't really say too much on that, like who my mentor is or anything, because there's certain guidelines that I, ca I cannot say on here. So just not have like a really good mentor. Um, and yeah, um, that's good. And <sighs> sorry, excuse me. Um, what else? What else? What else? There was a lot of fights during um the first month. There was a fight the first day. I mean. I haven't been in no fights there other than when we got to put on the boxer gloves for 20 seconds and I whipped some butt, but it was all fun and games. I mean, they took it to a more serious level because once I get punched in my face, that's it. Like, you know, back down. So, and I wasn't even feeling good. I, ha I did not even have my glasses on, so I could barely see, but yeah, that was, that was really fun. That was really fun because I got to get some anger out that, um, on certain people that, I couldn't get out in regular because I would would have gotten in trouble and I wasn't about getting in trouble and stuff. I mean, I, I got a lot of write-ups and stuff, but I didn't really, I didn't really get a punishment for it. It would be like standing for um, dinner, breakfast or whatever, that type of stuff. Or it was just stupid reasons why I got wrote up. So, um, yeah. It was, it was really good, fun, though. I mean, I enjoyed TCA for a certain extent. I mean, uh, to a certain extent, I, I enjoyed it. But there are certain parts that are just toxic. All the females in one barracks for five months. Just imagine that. People having beef. People fighting and arguing and bickering and all this other stuff about relationships and everything else. Um, fighting a TCA love and all that. So, um, it was just difficult dealing with that. And then p females would argue for no reason. For no reason. Like, what's the what's the point? You don't have a reason arguing why. <laughs> I mean, you barely know anybody here. You barely know them outside of you. You don't even know them outside of here. Before you came here, you didn't even know them. Um. So, what's the point in that? So, I don't understand. I, I stayed to myself most of the time until I met um one of my best friends now. Um, until I met her, I stayed to myself all the time. I mean, that's all I really had to do. That's all I really could do to stay out of trouble. You know? You feel me? So, um, I have to, um, I have to clean my glasses off. So, yeah, um, and I'm not really sure how good this lighting is because the sun is, like, right there beaming in or whatever. It looks good on me, so, yeah. Um, I'll update y'all on another video on everything that we did, like everything that took place here. But this vid video is gonna be close to 10 minutes long, and um, I don't really intend for it to be that long, so yeah. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. It's not too late to join the fam. Um, y'all will be seeing a lot more of my videos. Um, I plan on um, vlogging a lot more now that I'm out of school and now that I'm not even gonna start college until August. Or September so just comment down below subscribe you know give us a big thumbs up um tell me what you like what tell me what y'all want to see um any challenges any print like anything just let me know what y'all want to see and I will be sure to try to do my best to make that happen for you guys so yeah I will see you guys later my lovelies and peace